Summer is approaching fast, so I've been seeing some ads online for some summer products, and one of the things that interested me was this little tabletop fire pit. I'm seeing it everywhere, Instagram, Facebook, and I click the links, and I see how much they are, and they can go anywhere from 80 bucks to 100 bucks, 120 bucks for some of them for a small countertop fire pit. Now, for my full-size fire pit, I paid like half the price for it. But these things are good for apartments and condos in case you don't have a large backyard. Or say if you do have a large backyard, you want this just for the tabletop to stay warm while you're having a drink, maybe roast some marshmallows. Or if you've got a cool night and you just want to warm your hands around there. So I got two of them from Amazon, two different designs, a whole lot cheaper than the ones that were advertised online. So let's see if the cheaper ones hold a candle to the more expensive ones. We're gonna start out with the more traditional fire pit first. This one is a more rounded fire pit with the flame dead in the center. Packaged real well, because I think it's supposed to be stone or some kind of ceramic, so that way it doesn't get damaged. Hopefully it is not damaged. This is the lid here. You would use this to put it out when you're done with it. And here is the fire pit itself, which is heavy, caution, hot. Let's make sure that we don't get uh, burned here. There is the fill max line. Um, I'm not sure if it has a line or not. On the bottom here, it's got felt, so it's soft and doesn't scratch any surface. But I don't see anything else in the box. That's really it. It's pretty simple. The one I chose was this geometric design. They have a circular one. I think they have a square one. A couple other different shapes, but I liked this one here, but they all pretty much do the same thing. They say that you can use either 91% alcohol or 70% rubbing alcohol, but I also got a 50% to see if that would work. So I'm going to put a little bit of the 50% in there. I'm going to light it up and see if we get a flame. All of the alcohols I'm using today are just a cheap Walmart Equate brand. No need to spend any more money on it since you're just going to burn it anyway. Spilled a little bit on the top. That's all right. And that'll be it for now, just so we can test it. it does not look like 50% is going to work. Oh, wait. Ah, it went out pretty fairly quickly. Yep, not going to work. I poured that out, so now we're going to go with a... 70% that they say you can use with it. They said 70 or 91. That's what they recommend. I thought we can get away with 50. Looks like we can't. Burns out too quick. We'll go about uh, a third of the way with the 70%. Okay, so let's try this one more time. All right, let me get this out of the way. And we got ourselves a consistent flame. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this 50% and we'll use it at home for cuts and scrapes. And this is a nice, nice little flame going on here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this flame out and we're gonna try the 91% alcohol, see if we get maybe a little bit of a larger flame or if there's no difference at all. Simple enough. So I'm going to use this again, so I don't mind filling it up, and I'm going to fill it up the rest of the way to that max line with the 91%. And I'm getting a little bit on the sides there. Hopefully that isn't an issue. I'm going to light this up one more time, and I wouldn't say it's an issue with spilling on the side because it actually evaporated pretty quickly or soaked into the stone or something. Now I will say this lit a bit easier. And I can't tell if the flame is slightly higher because of the 91% or if it's just a little bit more full because it's about that much difference of a flame. What's weird about this as I look down into it, I mean, maybe this is something that you probably already know and I just don't, is that the flame is on the outside, the outer ring, and there's no flame directly in the middle of the liquid. Again, I'm not a science major or anything. It's just kind of cool seeing it. This one does exactly what the $80 one does, and it's about the same size. I paid only 20 bucks for this, but that price might fluctuate. I don't know if it was like a Mother's Day sale or something like that. I think I said the retail price was $29, but even at $29, I think it's really good. And at $20, it's a steal. Okay, so let's move on to the second one. Be careful. If it's running a little bit longer than it has, 
Uh, I don't know if I could hold that or not. It's one of the cool ones that you see at all the restaurants and all, where it's kind of rectangle in the middle of the table, maybe sometimes built in. It's got a two little glass panes on the side. So if you got a little bit more space or a larger table, this might fit you a little bit better. This one does come with roasting forks, in case you want to roast your weenies or your mallows, which I'm going to do in a moment. And there's four of them. Comes in black, red, green, and blue. They are telescopic, so they can, whoa, this is actually, it's actually pretty big, wait a minute. Yeah, you can keep far away from that fire with this thing. It's kind of light though. Uh, hot dog, yeah, I think a hot dog might be all right. It might wiggle a little bit, but a hot dog will be good with it. I'm gonna do some marshmallows later. I got some keto marshmallows. I'm gonna try to make a low carb s'more in just a moment. But easy to put away, so you don't have to have these long forks out, pokers, whatever you want to call them, roasters. And I think these glass panes are real, well, I guess they gotta be real glass, right? You can't have plastic windows on the side. It would just melt it. So that's that, that's the glass panes for the side. Sit these down to the side for now. And inside here is the unit. It's actually hollow, which I didn't expect. I thought it would be like solid all the way around. But it's not a bad thing for me. It's just what it is. I don't know what this is. I'll find out in just a moment. Well, I guess this is to put it out. Hollow on the back. And it's got the silver tray with a piece of cotton in the inside of it. And I saw somebody ask the manufacturer online about the cotton and replacing the cotton. And they said that it should last so long that they wouldn't have to worry about it. And it doesn't look like the top is removable. It's just all one solid piece. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. So this does look to be the extinguisher or you know, the paddle for your s and pleasures, you and your, your significant other, right? No, just to, just to put out the flame. Looks like a simple installation. Piece of glass there. Piece of glass there, and simple enough, it's done. I like it. I'm gonna use the rest of the 91% the since I have it. It's gonna fill up the rest of the bottle because this one can hold what well, looks to be about twice as much as the other one. I think it's good enough. I don't wanna overfill it because I can't really tell. I mean, it's up there, but I can't really tell like where it's at in the pan level just because that cotton swab is kind of soaking it up. So I'll leave it just there and I'm ready to light it up. That looks, that looks really nice. So like I said before, I'm gonna try it out with some keto s'mores. I have max malo, zero guilt, max taste, zero sugar, Zero net carb, zero everything. Marshmallows, and I got it in the cinnamon toast flavor. It's got collagen and MCT oil, so it's a little expensive, but you know, I just want to treat myself today. I got my favorite Hershey's. It's actually Hershey's dark chocolate with zero sugar. These are my favorite. I don't care sugar, no sugar, whatever. If I'm getting chocolate, this is it. And instead of graham crackers, because they don't make keto graham crackers, I have the sugar-free pecan shortbread. And these are from Vortman Bakery. I really like the reflection in the glass with the flame. It makes it look like more fire than it actually is. The re that's too long. The reason I was actually testing it out because this advertised that you could cook hot dogs and marshmallows and all that on it, but it has rubbing alcohol as the main fluid, right? I just wanted to know if I'm gonna taste alcohol on the food that I'm cooking over the flame. 
All right, these marshmallows roast weird. I don't smell any alcohol. So I'm fairly confident that things are going to be okay. I know this is not a review on the marshmallows, but it, they're weirdly cooked like as if they were melting rather than toasting. All right, I think it's just about done. Just like little burnt corners. Well, still on fire. <laughs> little burnt corners. I like it toasted. How do you like your marshmallows? Do you like it fully like burnt? Or do you like it at that brown or somewhere in between kind of like this? So it reminds me of the scene of the Sandlot. First, you to toast the mallow. You put the gram on the mallow. Again, this ain't a food review. We're reviewing this. Excellent, excellent, excellent. But I'm gonna dive into this keto, low carb s'more. The smell of the marshmallow, a little weird, but the taste of it is awesome. If you're cutting back sugar for yourself, try this out. I want to give you a quick look about how much light it produces and the ambiance it has in a darker setting. You definitely would think that it would be more money when you look at it. You could tell by the materials of how they cut back on the money, but visually, this thing is beautiful. I would absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, recommend both of these. This one even, looking as nice as it is, still cheaper than the ones that they were selling on the big websites that were that size. And this one, even cheaper than this one, if you want to save some money or if you want to get a couple of them, maybe you have them at four different tables, five different tables, you need to get a few of them, you're doing some cocktail nights, something like that, that'd be great. And then if you want something fancy, you want to be a little romantic, you want to have a glass of wine outside and you're with your significant other, or if you just wanna you know, treat yourself, you got a glass of wine and you want things to be nice, have a little bit of a bigger flame. Maybe you could have two people roasting something on here. Again, it comes with the roasting sticks, which is great for the value. If you wanna get one for yourself, each of these, I'm gonna leave the link below in the description. Pick it up, you'd be doing us a favor. It's an affiliate link. We get you know, a tiny little bit off of it. And if you want to see more of us, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video. Appreciate you.